we have officially reached March and update 35 is only a few weeks away. And with update 35, we're getting a brand new instance cluster. So naturally players would want to be fully geared and fully prepared for this new instance cluster. And in this video, I'm going to go through every class and most of the specs, look at where you can find the best items and how you can acquire them. Before getting into it, I'm just going to show which classes are being covered. As you can see, every class is represented, but not every spec. The reasons for this is I'm mainly doing the specs that I think are good enough to bring to a raid. The only exceptions will be Blue Captain and Blue Warden because they're getting a rework, so I'm not quite sure about those. But as you can see from all the classes, Healing Bjorning is being covered, Tanking Brawler, both Yellow and Red Berg, Tanking Captain and Red Captain, Yellow Champ, Blue Guardian, Red Hunter, Yellow Loremaster, Red and Blue Mini, Blue Runekeeper, and Yellow and Red Runekeeper, and finally Red Warden. Now the way this guide is going to go, I'm going to look at all the jewelry, all the armor pieces, and all the offhands, class items for every class. I will be giving my 5 recommended virtues for every spec that I go through. I will not be including legendary items in this guide. I already have a guide for that on my channel that you can check out. I will not be looking at crafting tools. I will not be mentioning any Etnmore's gear. I know there's a few pieces with some tactical critical multiplier on it and there's some tanking pieces that you might consider. But in this guide I'm not going to consider the Moore's gear. Nor am I going to consider any lower level gear with uh, any special bonuses on them. So before getting into the classes, I'm going to look at the best essence possible. Having the best essence gives you more stats, gets you closer to being fully geared. And the best essence, as people might know, currently is the Delver's Lively Essence. And this essence box can be bartered for 4500 embers on your ember barter. Drops from SV Boss 3, Tier 3 Plus, from Hidden Horde Tier 2 Plus. But the best source for this is probably the Doom Skirmish Tier 2, Tier 3, 6 or 12 man, where you can get quite a few boxes if you run a full set of this. The first class we're going to look at is Yellow Bjorning and their armor sets. And with Yellow Bjorning you kind of have a choice. Obviously you want the Force set or the Healing set bonus. You could go for the new cloak and the cloak essence. We're going to look at that soon. But you could also choose to just keep the Hidden Horde 3 set of blue, which gives you extra Fizz and Tact Mitt. So this is kind of a choice for you. In any case, Yellow Bjorning, you want to go for the blue helm. You also want to get the blue shoulders for the 2 set, 11k Might. And now we reached the cloak, which is where you can make your choice. Keep the blue cloak for the 3 set of Physical Mitigation and Tactical Mitigation or go for the new cloak, the gold cloak, with the Sacrifice Mitigation class essence. So this is an individual choice for every Bjorning player, either is fine. The cloak obviously is from Hidden Horde. To get the gold cloak, you have to run Doom, the Doom Skirmish on tier 2 or tier 3. And once you get the purple cloak to drop, you then upgrade it by doing Delvings, upgrading to Teal and then to Gold. The class essence is found in SV tier 2, through tier 5 on boss 3. Higher tier gives higher drop chance. You can also get this essence from running doom. Like I said, this is a choice for the Bjornings. And now we want to complete our 4 set for the healing encouraging roar set bonus. want to have the yellow chest plate. You also want to grab the yellow gloves. You want the yellow leggings. And finally, you want the yellow boots. For the earrings, I find the Hidden Horde Shimmering Stud to be the best. A lot of outgoing healing and crit rating and really high vitality. Same goes for the rings. The high vitality outgoing healing rings are pretty good. And when it comes to the bracelets, you want to get the SV bracelets. You can either go for the outgoing healing ones or my personal favorite, the Fate Finesse crit rating is pretty nice to get some more of those stats. To get these bracelets, you have to run the last boss in SV. And obviously the higher tier, the better the drop rate. Keep in mind, Update 35 will have an Ember Botter for this. So when Update 35 goes live, you can use your Embers to get these bracelets. 
for the necklace for yellow bjorning i think you should go for one of the new necklaces you can either go for the crit one which i think is probably the best one but you can also get the outgoing healing one for a yellow bjorning and for the class essence i would recommend getting the essence that gives you wrath upon being hit the necklace drops from sv and once you get your purple necklace you then run delvings to upgrade it to teal and same thing here update 35 will have a butter for the purple necklace and the essence can be found in sv or doom for the pocket item the best option will be either the lash or the bell from thrang if you happen to not have these then i would suggest getting the hidden horde might outgoing healing pocket item when it comes to the offhand for a bjorning my favorite is the balanced club of old Aregion. gives you some nice fate high vitality and a lot of finesse boosting your finesse rating and this of course drops from the doom skirmish and for the bow this one is a pretty straightforward choice the strong bow of old Aregion drops from the doom skirmish gives you might vitality a lot of tact mate a lot of finesse really good stats for a yellow burning and finally, these are my recommended virtues for running yellow Bjorning. When it comes to the blue tanking brawler, in this guide, I'm going to recommend the four set for blue, the metal shield, one less cost. Some brawler players like going for the yellow four set with the increased damage on your vulnerability debuff. But in this guide, we're going to focus on the four set for blue. So I would recommend getting the blue helm. I would also recommend the blue shoulders or blue brawler i would suggest getting the gold cloak the tanking one with the class essence essence of the stalwart this changes your plant feet cooldown makes it a much better cooldown in my opinion and of course to get this cloak you will have to run doom to get the purple cloak then delvings to upgrade to teal and then to gold the essence can be found in sv or doom for the chest piece, I would also recommend the blue chest piece. For the gloves, I would recommend, if you're able to get them, tier 7 to tier 10 teal delving gloves. They have some pretty good stats for blue brawler, especially the high vitality compared to other gloves. And I would recommend you getting the blue leggings. And for your boots, I would once again recommend the delving box teal boots, mainly because of the super high vitality. For the earring, I would recommend the Hardened Stud from Hidden Horde. You want to steer away from the block uh, earrings because Brawler can't block. When it comes through the ring, I recommend you get the Will Attack Mid Ring. Keep in mind you will have to play on a Will character to have this drop for you. So either you will have to go on a Will character or have someone trade it to you. Or you can bother for it with the Tier 2 Deed. For the bracelet, I would recommend the SV High Attack Mid and Fist Mid one. And keep in mind, update 35 will have an Ember Botter for these items. And for the Tanking Brawler, I would recommend the Hidden Horde Necklace for your pocket item. If you don't have the Lash, I would recommend getting the Hidden Horde Emblem of Fortitude from the Hidden Horde Raid. And your class item, your belt, should be the Gundabad Belt Buckle of Balance. Lots of Vitality, Fismit. This item is crafted by Gundabad Jeweler. And finally, these are my recommended virtues for Blue Brawler. Next up, we have Yellow Burglar. Now, for Yellow Burger, obviously, you want the four set for yellow for the trick duration. And then you kind of have a choice of three set with blue and red. Blue gives attack duration reduction, and red gives melee damage. And uh, my preference is the red for the melee damage. And that's what's going to be portrayed in this guide. So as Yellow Berg, I would recommend the Yellow Helm. Then I would go for the Yellow Shoulders. I would go for the Red Cloak. I would get the Red Chest as well. You would want the Yellow Gloves. And for Leggings, you would want the Red Leggings. And finally, you would get your four set with the Yellow Boots. For the Earrings for Burglar, I like the Physical Mastery and Crit Rating. Hidden Horde Stylish Loop gives you some offensive stats. And although Yellow Burglars kind of want to build a bit tankier, having this is still good for your stats. For your rings, I would get the Tactical Mitigation Memorable Rings. And for your bracelet, you kind of have two choices in my opinion. You want to beef up your mitts a bit, you can get the High Vitality Tact Mitt Fist Mitt. Or you can get my personal favorite, 
which is the Vitality, Fate, Finesse, and Crit rating. And keep in mind, update 35 will have an Ember Barter for these items. And when it comes to the Necklace, I think the Yellow Burglar should aim for the Crit Necklace and get the Essence of the Keen Eye for the Crit Defense debuff on enemies. This has the added bonus that it stacks with the other red line trait for reducing crit defense. And as always, your necklace you get in SV, you upgrade it to teal by doing delvings. And update 35 will have a barter for the purple necklaces and the class essence you can get from SV or Doom. And for your pocket item, as always, if you have the lash or the bell, they are the best options. If you don't have that, then the Hidden Horde Stylish Locket is probably the best one for a Yellow Burg. The best offhand by far for Yellow Burglar is the Honed Dagger of Old Oregon, has really good stats and the best choice for sure. This dagger will drop from the Doom Skirmish. And when it comes to your signal that you put in your ranged slot, the best choice here for overall stat value is the Gundabad Strength Signal for the Physical Mastery Rating. And this item is crafted by Gundabad Tailors. And finally, these are my virtues for the Yellow Burglar. Red Burglar is up next. And for the armor sets for Red Burglar, you actually want to get the 4 set from blue for the exposed throat bleed and you want the 3 set from red for the 10% melee damage. So I would recommend the blue helm for red berg, you would get the red shoulders, you would get the blue cloak, you would get the blue chest, you would get the red gloves and for your 4 set the blue leggings and for the red 3 set the red boots. For your earrings, I would recommend the Hidden Horde Stylish Loop for some more offensive stats. For rings, I would recommend the Tact Mitigation Ability Memorable Ring. For your bracelet as Red Berg, I would recommend the High Crit Nickel Grave Band. They drop from SV Boss 3, but keep in mind update 35 will bring an Ember Barter where you can barter for these bracelets directly. And for Red Berg, there is no doubt you want to get the necklace from SV and upgrade it to teal through delvings. Update 35 will have a barter for the purple necklaces and the essence drops from SV and Doom. This essence is a no-brainer. You add a incoming damage effect on your target and as a red burglar you are DPS so you want more damage. For pockets if you have the jeweled bell or the lash they will be the best options. If not, you would go for the Hidden Horde Stylish Locket or the Redbird Pocket Item. If you have the Bell or the Lash, they will be the best items. If not, I would go for the Hidden Horde Stylish Locket. The best offhand for Redbird is the Honed Dagger of Old Oregon, which drops from the Doom Skirmish. And the best signal is the Signal of Strength for the Physical Mastery. This item is crafted by Gundabad Taylor. And these on the left are my five recommended virtues for Red Berg. And you can also consider adding determination if you have enough finesse and you would then remove a wit. For the yellow captain and the armor sets, most captains prefer going for seven yellow pieces for their tanking captain. You could also consider going for three blue pieces. But in this guide, there's going to be a mixed bag. I would recommend the yellow Helm. I would also get the yellow shoulders. Now when it comes to the cloak for yellow captain you have quite a bit of a choice. You can choose to keep the yellow and just go for the really good yellow stats with attack mitigation. If you want to go for the blue 2 set or 3 set you would then get the blue cloak. And you also have the option of getting the gold cloak, the gold tanking cloak with the gallant display, healing increase and of course the Yellow and blue cloaks drop from Hidden Horde. The gold cloak, you would have to get the Doom purple cloak upgraded through Delvings with teal and gold. The essence drops from SV and Doom. Personally, I'm going for the gold cloak with the gallant display essence, but this is basically any of these are fine choices. For your gloves, you can get the yellow gloves or you can get the blue gloves if you want to go for the two or three sets of blue. I would get the yellow leggings. And finally, for the boots, you either get the yellow boots or the blue boots if you want the 
two or three set for blue line as well. For the earring, for yellow captain, I would go with the hidden horde, a memorable loop, high vitality, high attack mid, and you would go for the best tanking ring, the the will attacked mitigation. For the bracelet, I like the outgoing healing attack mitigation morale for yellow captain. Gives you a lot of useful stats for yellow captain. Get these bracelets, you have to run SV and boss three. And also keep in mind, update 35 will bring an amber fodder where you can get these bracelets directly. For the yellow captain necklace, I would recommend the hidden horde hardened torque. And of course, as always with the pocket, if you have the lash, it will be the best option. If you don't have the lash, I would go for the hidden horde emblem of fortitude. The best shield for yellow captain drops from Sarchworn, boss one or boss two. And it is the resilient targe of the black grave. And the best banner for Yellow Captain is the Gundabad Standard of Hope, which is crafted by the Gundabad Tailor. And finally, these are my selected virtues for Yellow Captain. For your Red Captain with the set bonuses, obviously you want the 4 set for Red. And then I would also consider getting 2 blue pieces for the extra might. But you could just as well just go for 7 red pieces and be completely fine. So for the Red Captain Helm, we're going to go with the Red Helm. You would want to get the Red Shoulders. And for the Cloak, this one is a pretty straightforward choice. Getting the Gold Cloak, Gold DPS Cloak, with the Gallant Display Damage Essence Increase. This will increase your DPS quite a bit. On Red Captain, the Cloak you get from Doom Tier 2, Tier 3. And once you get the Purple Cloak from Doom, you upgrade it with to Teal and then to Gold we're doing delvings and the essence will drop from sv or doom for the chest place you should go for the red chest and for the gloves if you want the two set for blue the 11,000 might would get the blue gloves but getting the red gloves is also fine for the legs i would get the red leggings and finally for the boots if you want to go for the two set of blue you would get the blue boots if not you would just get the red boots for your earring, I would go for the Hidden Horde Stylish Loop. For the ring, I would go for the Might Tactical Mitigation Hidden Horde Hardened Ring. For the bracelet, you would then go for the High Crit SV Bracelet, dropping from Boss 3. And of course, Update 35 will have an Ember Barter for these items. And when it comes to the Necklace for Red Captain, I think it's pretty safe to say that you would want to get the teal necklace with crit and then the battle shout reset chance essence. If you're not going for this, you'll be doing just fine getting the hidden horde steel torque, but I would recommend working towards the teal necklace with the class essence. The necklace obviously you get from SV, you upgrade it to teal through doing delvings. Update 35 will have a barter for the purple necklace and the essence you get from SV or Doom. As always with the pocket item, if you have the jeweled bell, this is the best item. If you don't have the bell, then the best item will be Hidden Heart Emblem of Valor. The best banner for Red Captain is the Gundabad Standard of War. 5% melee damage, a mastery. This item is crafted by Gundabad Taylor. And finally, these are my recommended virtues for the Red Captain. Moving on to Yellow Champion. Obviously, you want the 4 set from Yellow for the Fury of Blades critical damage to your AoE skills. But you also want to get the 3 set from Red for increased melee damage. We're going to get the Yellow Helm. You want to get the Red Shoulders. You want to get the Red Cloak. You should get the Yellow Chest. You should get the Red Gloves yellow legs and finally finishing our four set the yellow boots for your earrings i would recommend the hidden horde stylish loop your rings should be the hidden horde hardened ring with the tactical mitigations for the bracelets i would recommend the might physical mastery critical rating from sv you would have to run the last boss of sv to get these items keep in mind update 35 will bring an ember bother to these items for your necklace, this is a no-brainer. You want to get the teal crit necklace, the Cardolan Essence of Focus, increasing your DPS. The purple necklace you get from SV. Once you get that, you upgrade it to teal through doing delvings. 
and update 35 will have a butter for the purple necklace and the essence you get from SV or Doom. For your pocket, if you have the jeweled bell, that's by far the best pocket item. If you don't, I would then go for the Hidden Horde Emblem of Valor. The best bow for a yellow champ is the Warrior's Bow of Old Eregion. Really good stats on this for a DPS champ. This item will drop from the Doom Skirmish. And these are my recommended virtues for yellow champ. Next up is Blue Guardian, and for the Blue Guardian, we do want to get the 4 set of blue from the Hidden Horde raid. But we also have some nice pieces that have a lot of vitality. Starting off, you want to get the Pristine Benevolent Delver's Helm. Doing tier 7 and tier 10 delvings will give you the boxes, and they have a chance to drop from the boxes. Really high vitality, really nice item for your Blue Guard. For your shoulders, you should get the blue shoulders. For your cloak, you kind of have a choice. Both options are fine. If you want, you can just get the yellow cloak from Hidden Horde. Or you can try to work towards the gold cloak with the 5% max morale from Warrior's Heart if you prefer. The gold cloak, you have to get the purple cloak from Doom Tier 2 or Tier 3. Once you get that cloak, you upgrade it first to teal, then to gold through doing delvings and the essence will drop from sv or doom you just want to get the hidden horde cloak you run hidden horde and you get that cloak for your chest piece you should get the yellow chest you should get the blue gloves you should get the blue legs and finally the blue boots the best earring for a blue guardian is the hidden horde memorable loop high vitality high attack mitt the best tanking ring, the Hidden Horde Crystal Ring, will tack mitigation, is the best for Blue Guard. And for the bracelet, I prefer for Guardian the High Vitality Max Morale Incoming Healing with Evade. You get this from SV Boss 3. And of course, Update 35 will have an Ember Barter to barter for these items directly. And for the necklace, I prefer going with the Tanking Teal Necklace and the Critical Hit Sting Class Essence. You get the necklace, you run SV last boss, then you upgrade it to heal through delvings. Of course, update 35 will have an ember barter to barter for the purple necklaces and the class essence you get from SV and Doom. And of course, as a blue guardian, if you have the lash, it's the best pocket you can get. If you don't have a lash, the hidden horde emblem of fortitude is my recommended item for the shield. The Blue Guardian best shield is the Ember Bardia shield that you get from the Might Weapons Box. The Reinforced Wall Shield of the Adventurer. The best bow for Blue Guardian is the Strong Bow of Old Eregion. High Vitality, High Tech Mitt and some good finesse. This item drops from the Doom Skirmish. And finally we have my recommended virtues for Blue Guardian. For Red Hunter, you obviously want the 4 set for the Reign of Arrows Bleed. You also want the yellow 3 set for the reduced bow inductions. So for the helm, we're going to go for the red helm. You want to get the red shoulders. Get the red cloak. For chest, you should get the yellow chest. You should get the yellow gloves. You should get the red leggings. And the yellow boots. For the earring, I recommend the Hidden Horde Stylish Loop. For your ring, the Hidden Horde Memorable Ring with the Tag Mitt. For a Bracelet, I would get the High Crit one from SV. And keep in mind, Update 35 will bring an Ember Barter, so you can barter for these items directly. And for the Necklace, this is a must-have for any Hunter. You want to get the Crit Necklace, but more importantly, you want the Heartseeker Reset Necklace. The Necklace you get from SV last boss when you get the purple necklace you can upgrade it to teal by doing delvings and of course update 35 will have a barter for the purple necklaces and the essence you get from sv or doom the best pocket is of course the jeweled bell if you have it if not i would go for the hidden horde stylish locket and the best offhand by far is the tempered maze of the black grape really nice offensive stats on this item this will drop from Sarchworn, boss 1 and boss 2. And for your class slot, you're going to put the Gundabad Tome of the Whispered Draw for some extra morale. This item is crafted by Gundabad Scholar. And finally, these are the virtues I recommend as a Red Hunter. 
Now for yellow lore master, we're gonna go with the four set from yellow. We're gonna get the two set from blue, and we're gonna get the gold cloak. So starting off, I would recommend the yellow helm. I would recommend the blue shoulders. And for yellow lore master, another must have the gold cloak. But more importantly, the Cartolan Essence of Knowledge, increasing the Enfeeble Duration and Blinding Flash Duration, making important skills like Ancient Craft stronger with the Enfeeble effect. The Gold Cloak, you will first have to run Doom, Tier 2, Tier 3, get the Purple Cloak, and then upgrade it to Teal and Gold by doing Delvings. The Essence drops from SV and Doom. You want to go for the Yellow Chest, you want the Blue Gloves, you want to get the yellow leggings and finally you want to get the yellow boots you can also go for six yellow pieces if you prefer that doesn't really matter i just like getting the blue two set for some extra free will stat for the earring for lore master i recommend the hidden horde hardened stud high vitality and also get some finesse for the ring the hidden horde crystal ring high tact mitigation high vitality really good for yellow lore master and for the bracelet i prefer the outgoing healing tactical mitigation morale for yellow lore master this will drop from last boss in sv and of course update 35 will bring an ember barter for these items and when it comes to the necklace for yellow lore master this is another that i will say it's not must have but it's something that why not why not get it if you can instead of just having stats you get an extra Fire dot on your target every 25 seconds to use fire skills. So I would recommend getting the restored bronze grave pendant with the Cardolan Essence of Flame. The necklace you of course get from SV, then you upgrade it to teal with delvings. Update 35 will have a purple necklace butter for embers, and the essence you can get from SV and Doom. But of course you'll be perfectly fine getting the hidden horde necklace if you want, but this is what I prefer. For the pocket item, if you have a lash or a bell, those are the best ones you can get. If not, I would recommend the Hidden Horde Crystal File. And for the offhand, this is my preferred offhand, the Balanced Sword of the Black Grave. Giving you Fate, Vitality, some more Finesse, and some outgoing Healing. And this will drop from SV, Boss 1, and Boss 2. And for your range slot, you want to get the Gundabad Stick Pin of Rage for some extra stats. This item is crafted by Gundabad Jeweler, and these are my recommended virtues for Yellow Lore Master. For Blue Minstrel, we're gonna go with the Gold Cloak, 3 Blue and 3 Yellow, where people can decide if they want to go for Blue or for Yellow, they can choose those pieces. For the Helm, you want to go with the Blue Helm, you want to get the Blue Shoulders, and for the Cloak, you kind of do want to get the Gold Cloak with the Cardolan Essence of Spirit, where critical heals with Triumphant Spirit will give your allies 3% mitigations for 10 seconds. You get this cloak, you run Doom on tier 2 or tier 3, you get the purple cloak, then you run Delvings to upgrade it to Teal and then to Gold, and the Essence will drop from SV and Doom. For your robe, you want to go with the yellow robe, and for your gloves, you can either choose blue or you can choose yellow depending on the way you want to build your set bonuses. And for leggings, you want to go with the yellow leggings. And finally, the boots is another piece you can choose blue or yellow, depending on which set bonus you want. For the earring, I recommend the Hidden Horde Shimmering Stud. For your rings, the Hidden Horde Shimmering Ring. For your bracelet, I recommend the Finesse Crit Fate Bracelet. Really nice stat for a healing minstrel. This bracelet will drop from SV boss 3 and with update 35 you will have a ember butter where you can get this item directly. For your blue minstrel necklace I recommend the hidden horde crystal necklace. For your pocket if you have the lash or the bell that's going to be your best pocket item. If not I recommend the hidden horde crystal vial. And the best shield in my opinion is the resilient targe of the black grave, high vitality, Good stats for a healer, drops from Sargevorn, boss 1 and boss 2. When it comes to your instrument, you always have the throne instrument as an option. Some increased critical chance on ballads. But with the power we work, 
I do believe that the crafted Gundabad instruments will be the best, especially because of the minus 15% healing skills power cost. Seems pretty useful. And these instruments are crafted by Gundabad woodworkers. And finally, these are my recommended virtues for a blue minstrel. For red minstrel, what we're going to go for here is the four set of red, obviously. We're also going to try to get a two set for the extra will. And then whatever is the last piece is just for the best possible stats. Starting off with the helm, you want to get the blue minstrel helm. For the shoulders, you want to go for the red shoulders. For the cloak, you want to go for the red cloak. For the chest piece, you want to go with the red chest. For gloves, you want to go yellow gloves. You want to get the red leggings for your four set. And to get the two set for Will, you get the blue boots. For your earrings, I recommend the Hidden Horde Fancy Earring. And for your rings, the Hidden Horde Fancy Ring. You can also choose to go for the Hidden Horde Crystal Ring with the with the tactical mitigation. There's not a big difference. Only difference is overall essence value is slightly higher on the Fancy Ring. That's why I'm recommending it. But you'll do just fine with the Crystal Ring as well. For your bracelet, the Will Attack Mastery crit rating is the best for Red Minstrel. You of course get this from SV. And there will be a barter in update 35 where you can get these bracelets directly. And for Red Minstrel, you do want to get the high crit necklace, the teal necklace with the Cardolan Essence of Song. The increased damage for Ballad and Coda is really good and something you should get as a Red Minstrel. The necklace you get from SV, then you upgrade it to heal by doing delvings. Update 35 will have a barter for the purple necklaces. And the essence, as always, you get from SV or Doom. The best pocket item for Red Minstrel is going to be the jeweled bell. If you don't have the bell, then the Hidden Horde Fancy Vial is the best one for you. And when it comes to the DPS Minstrel Shield, the Ember Box Shield from the Will Weapons Box is the best one you can get. Overall, it has the better stats. While the Bright Targe of Old Eregion is also a good alternative, the Ember Shield you obviously get from the Ember Barter in the Will Weapons Box, and the Targe of Old Eregion is from the Doom Skirmish. And finally, these are my recommended virtues for the Red Minstrel. Time for the Blue Runekeeper. Now, I don't play Blue Runekeeper that much myself, but I have asked a few people about their gear, and I think I've come up with uh, pretty much the best setup you can get. For the Blue Runekeeper, you want to get four blue pieces and three red pieces. The red pieces for the induction reduction. Starting off with the helm, you want to get the blue helm. You will also get the blue shoulders. You want to get the red cloak and the red chest. You want to get the blue gloves. And you want to get the red leggings for your 3 set. And finally you get the blue boots for your 4 set of the blue Hidden Horde set. For your jewelry I would recommend the Hidden Horde Shimmering Stud. And for your rings the Hidden Horde Shimmering Ring. And for your bracelet I recommend the Fate Finesse Crit Rating from SV. And of course this item will also be borrowable for Embers with update 35. For your necklace, I recommend the Hidden Horde Crystal Necklace. And for your pocket item, if you have a Jeweled Bell or a Lash, they will be your best pocket item. If not, I recommend going for the Hidden Horde Crystal Necklace. Add into your ranged slot as a Blue Ring Keeper. You want to go for the Gundabad Riffler of Hope, mainly because of the 100% Prelude to Hope initial healing. And this item is crafted by Gundabad Metalsmith. And finally, these are my recommended virtues for the blue runekeeper. And for the DPS runekeeper, I decided to put red and yellow together. So what we're going to go for here is three yellow pieces, three red pieces, and then one piece that you can alternate depending on which four set you want to use. So starting off with the helm, you want to get the yellow helm. You want to get the yellow shoulders. You want to get the red cloak. For your chest piece, this is one where you can choose depending on the set bonus you want. If you want the red, you want the red, you get the red chest. If you want yellow, you get the yellow chest. You want to get the yellow gloves. You want to get the red legs. And you want to get the red boots. 
For your DPS earrings, I recommend the Hidden Horde Fancy Earring. I recommend the Hidden Horde Fancy Ring as well, but the Crystal Ring with the Tactical Mitigation is also a good option. For your bracelet, I recommend the Will Tact Mastery Crit Rating from SV. And of course, this item will be available in Update 35 with the Ember Butter. And as a DPS RK, you definitely want to get the High Crit Necklace, mainly because of the Cardolan Essence of the Elements. This has the possibility to give you a 20 second minus 3% attack mid debuff on the target. So a really strong offensive debuff here. Your necklace of course you get from SV. Once you get the purple necklace that you want you upgrade it to teal through doing delvings. Update 35 will have a barter for the purple necklaces and the class essence you get from SV and Doom. And for your pocket item if you have the bell that's going to be the best item for you. If not, then the Hidden Horde Fancy Vial is the best choice for DPS RK. And into your range slot, you want to get the Gundabad. Chisel of Lightning gives really good offensive DPS stats. And this item is crafted by the Gundabad Metalsmith. And finally, these are my recommended virtues for the red or yellow RK. And finally, we're going to look at the Red Warden. I know most Wardens play Yellow Warden currently, but Update 35 will make Yellow into a utility line and Red Warden will be the norm. It looks like we're still keeping the 4 set in Yellow though, so we're going to go for 4 Yellow pieces for the increased Marked and Diminished debuff. And we're going to go for 3 Red for the melee damage bonus. So for Red Warden, you want to get the Yellow Helm, you want to get the Yellow Shoulders, you want to get the Yellow Cloak, you want to get the Red Chest Piece. You want to get the red gloves. You want the yellow legs for your 4 set. And for the red 3 set, you want to get the red boots. For your earrings, I recommend the Hidden Horde Stylish Loop. For your rings, the Hidden Horde Memorable Ring with the Tack Mitt. For your bracelet, you should get the High Crit SV bracelet. And of course, this bracelet will be available in Update 35 through the Ember Barter. And for your DPS Warden, you definitely want to get the SV Heal Necklace, mainly because of the Cardolan Essence of Light. When you hit an enemy with the Fist Gambit, there's a 50% chance you will apply a minus 3% Light Mitigation Debuff for 20 seconds. So having this is a must pick for Warden, increases your DPS with your light bleeds and your light damage. The necklace of course you get from SV, once you get your purple necklace you upgrade it to teal through doing delvings. And update 35 of course will have a butter for the purple necklaces and the class essence of course you get from SV or Doom. The best pocket item for a Warden is the jeweled bell. If you don't have the bell then the next option will be the Hidden Horde Stylish Locket. And for your Warden Shield, the Balanced Shield of Old Eregion is probably the best one overall. And this shield drops from the Doom Skirmish but it does have high finesse rating. So if you don't need this finesse then the Skirmisher's Shield of the Black Grave is going to be the best option. If you need the finesse, Balanced Shield of Old Eregion is best. If you don't need the finesse, then Skirmisher's Shield of the Black Grave is going to be best. And this Skirmisher's Shield drops from Sarchvorn, Boss 1 and Boss 2. And for your carving as a DPS Warden, I recommend the Gundabad Star of the Fist carving for the light type damage and the good stats. And this item is crafted by the Gundabad Woodworker. Thank you for watching. Please consider subscribing to help out the channel. Leave a like, join my Discord, and I'll see you in the next one if you're playing or looking to play lord of the rings online there is one place you need to be the universe, the universe is a community discord server for the game lord of the rings online in this server you'll find anything from giveaways there's also a frequently asked questions channel that i would recommend checking out first You'll be able to see when I put out new YouTube videos, whenever I stream. You can also ask for the streamer role and you'll be able to post your own streams in this server for everyone to see. There's currently over 5,000 members in this Discord and it keeps growing. You will also find discussion channels about the game, Lotro, you can ask any questions in the help channel. There's discussions for every single class in the game and PvP. 
But one of the best things about this server is the best in slot items section. In this section you can find trait lines for every single class. You will find screenshots of the current best gear being displayed. In this channel you'll find charts showing what stats you need for your characters, mitigations, mastery crit, finesse. But you'll also find useful information about drop rates in different instances. I hope you will consider joining my server and maybe one day I'll see you in Middle Earth.